All right, um, just making a short video here on uh, how to use your MIDI controller floorboard pedal board um, as a MIDI controller. This particular one will be for the Line 6. Um, I have the Line 6, that's the FBV Shortboard MK2. Uh, Line 6 puts out, uh, it's a USB. Uh, controlled um, so you can just simply plug a USB cable into it and from there uh, you would use the Line 6 FBV uh, program Line 6 FBV edit program which you can download from Line 6 uh, if you have this unit um, that will let you assign the buttons to uh, toggle, momentary, um, just configure uh, your buttons, how you need them to be, uh, what kind of MIDI commands they're going to put out uh, when you press them. So let's go ahead and get, get into this. I'm going to switch over to screen where I can share with you uh, not only me but uh, the controller board and bias effects software so uh, just one second here we'll fade this over and I'm going to open up bias effects boom so now we got bias effects open poof do, do, do. Do, do, do. we'll open them up here boom maybe now oh, there you go that wasn't good. Okay. Now we got it. Uh, sorry for that. This is the first video uh, that I've made. Um, so excuse me for the poor quality, uh, audio and video wise. Uh, hopefully we'll uh, do some equipment work and get upgraded to some stuff that will work a little better. But first thing I wanted to do is show you, um, here we have my FBV all set up and ready to go. And we have five buttons on each row here and three buttons up top as well as a volume pedal and this is a toggleable uh, setup where you have volume and you have wah by just simply pushing heavy toe on this it will switch it from you can see you see see the little light that lit up I know it's picture is kind of small but as you press this it will toggle between uh, your volume and your wah pedal um, so uh, the cool thing with this board is the fact that it is very assignable very usable uh, in this deal so first of all let's talk about how to assign your MIDI board and you would simply go up here to settings and this one's already assigned and for this you'll go to audio settings um, select audio settings and you can see I have currently selected the FBV shortboard MK2 port 1 uh, there's no reason to engage port 2 port 3 uh, as well as port 4 uh, just select the MIDI controller that you're going to use uh, you should only need one port. Um, other thing I don't like, I don't like the 512 sample. I like to go to 128. Um, but of course, my audio isn't set up because I'm obviously using my audio right now for the video itself. So let's go ahead and go back to the main screen. Uh, on here we have a volume pedal, which I've already configured. And as you can see, as I move the volume pedal on the FBV uh, it's controlling the volume pedal on the positive grid biased effects um, how we assign that uh, there's a couple ways to assign MIDI functions uh, one is through MIDI settings uh, however I'm not uh, I don't use that uh, except for like uh, purposes of assigning MIDI control 
Um, if you're going to use like a utility, uh, which would be your uh, tuners and stuff like that, you can also set up functions for your looper to uh, record uh, playback, replay, undo, or clear. Uh, so, I mean, literally, there's five sections there you could work with if you wanted to. However, I don't do that. Um, I did set up my preset and I have a up down arrow on here so I did use the up down arrows for uh, back and forward on my preset so um, also in here under, under utilities I have the tuner set up on function one uh, just by simply clicking learn and just press press the button of what you want to do and I have the tap tempo uh, button actually says tap right here on the controller um, which I assigned by simply learn and touch uh, it's really that simple but for the purpose of the effects um, you can see here I have literally uh, two of the same units the only difference is, is one has a lower drive setting than the other one you can see my drive is turned up here and is turned down here a little ways uh, so the disadvantage is if you go in and you assign your MIDI setting here to toggle your tube driver off and on um, which can be done by going into effects and then you would choose uh, drive and tube driver and as you see there's no command here right now uh, because I did not set up through this menu for the purpose of I wanted to be able to select each one individually if you were to do it here uh, both these units would turn on simultaneously and obviously for the purpose of what I'm doing that's not what I want to do so what I'm going to show you now real quickly is how to assign in individual buttons to individual effects and that's real simple and this is how you assign your volume pedal uh, if you assign your volume pedal through here so we go in here and we'd say assign uh, preset volume pedal is considered EQ volume pedal all you got is toggle and notice the word toggle which means off and on uh, you could assign here but it's not going to do the function of a volume pedal like this it's simply going to turn off and on so how we assign this is by going to that pedal right clicking and it brings up a menu and here we have assignment you simply click on the assignment and you want volume click learn just move your volume pedal and simply it's automatically mapped for you and now you can see we have the volume pedal moving as it should uh, with the line 6 FBV we have the wah function up here uh, which is toggled on by pressing down hard on the front side of the pedal and it trips a toggle switch to turn on the wah pedal um, which we've already done um, just by simply pressing down really hard toggling over to that and same deal you know uh, right click assignment and learn click push down real hard boom all of a sudden you you're there you want to learn 
uh, you want to be able to control your wah wah pedal the same way you would your volume so you just simply use the volume pedal um, and it is two different MIDI commands you got uh, 35 for for that and volume is 36 and it's automatically set up for you uh, through that so push us down volume pedal works if we activate the watt pedal now your volume pedal does not change your volume at this point it will affect your wah until you click it off now as you see the wah, the wah pedal is not active again but the volume pedal is so uh, just keep that in mind uh, it, it literally it works the same way as it would if you were using this on the line 6 amps like um, you can see in the background I've got uh, both my line 6 spider valve uh, MK2's uh, the 212 model and the 112 model which is, they're both the same 2 amp only difference is, is one has uh, two 12's the other one has a single 12 but um, that's the reason I had this had this controller and once I found out that I could use it as a MIDI controller uh, opened up a whole new uh, game in fact I highly recommend the uh, Line 6 FBV shortboard MK2 uh, for this application. Now let's move on. So modulation. Modulation we're going to simply assign and we have a modulation button on here already. Uh, so we just simply learn, click, and you're going to do this for all your effects and you can individualize them. Now what we see here is on the screen the modulation is now on but the light is off on the pedal board and this is where you have to configure a little bit and um, I default set where I save my programs I generally have everything off which you can simply toggle by clicking this green button here now if I hit the modulation button here it will toggle that on and we'll turn the light on to let me know that the modulation is that my chorus is turned on. Um, addressing the having two of the effects pedals that are the same, this is where this comes in handy because you can simply go to the assignment, toggle, press the button, and now that one, even though we have two of the same kind is now addressed to specifically this button right here and it does not toggle the second one we go over here same thing and we're going to assign this to like the second button so my two drives are right next to each other and I kind of like to do this like as the screen layout is and here again you know um, paying attention to the light and then for my distortion um, I want to keep all my my overdrive and everything all in the same area so I just I put it right above my second tube drive uh, just because I know now that my overdrives and tube drives are all right in this configuration uh, come down here next thing on the screen I try to set this up the way it is on the screen so you don't get confused about uh, where it is on the pedal board uh, delays we have the digital and I have an analog uh, both of them are set to BPM and they are set to quarter uh, time so that they're playing quarter notes you can set those however you want uh, that's purely my preference was to go quarter so uh, and those are set up where my two delays are right here right next to each other so it's just literally going down the screen drive 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 delay delay and then here we have a reverb pedal which um, we actually have 
a button labeled reverb, which I've already configured for that. Now, to address a couple other things, um, we got, let's say, the um, tap tempo and your tuner. Because everybody needs a tuner. And you don't want to have to reach over to your computer to do tuning. So, simply uh, by going in here to the MIDI settings, you can go to Control Assignment, uh, go to your utility, and you can have your tuner. And on, in this case, I put it on Function 1, so I just simply learn, push Function 1, and tap Tempo. Uh, line 6 has a tap button. Just simply learn, hit that button, and you're good to go. Now, up here, you'll notice, um, as I tap this button, it will respond to the taps. And then over here, we have the your, your patches. I have one set up specifically for acoustic guitar, electric guitar, and bass guitar. So I have all my guitars covered. Um, and I have separate little areas for them. So if I'm playing electric guitar, I can go in and I can toggle my uh, patches however I want, you know. And if I do, to do that, I simply went in here, did the, went to the MIDI settings, uh, MIDI assignment, and then went to the presets. Now this is presets is going to be where you can go bank up, down, preset up, down. I didn't do banks because, uh, you know, I'm not going to be switching guitars. If I'm playing electric, I'm going to play electric. Uh, however, if I find a need uh, for that in the future, I will set that up. But uh, as of right now, I don't need it. So I guess pretty much so. Uh, up, down arrow on the on the board. Uh, down arrow, I can figure it as preset minus, and the up arrow is preset plus. So literally, I have control over everything on this. Um, and you can see if I go down, I change over to a different setting. And <coughs> so I literally can stay within my preset this way. Um, once you got got things set up the way you want, <coughs> Simply come in here and save as new, unless you already got something set up that you like, uh, that you want to use, then just overwrite, uh, either way, and place it where, you know, where you want it. So simply, that's as easy as it really is. Um, hopefully you'll find this video works out well for you. Um, we're going to switch back over here, and we're going to go to that so <clears throat> hopefully ooh, that was bad that was really bad um, <clears throat> hopefully you found something useful here I know it <clears throat> learning uh, how to configure sometimes is a real challenge but uh, this is something that I learned and I thought if I'd pass it on to you guys, maybe somebody could uh, learn from this. I'm pretty sure that the assignment would work the same regardless uh, what MIDI controller you're using. It should just be simply hit the assign, hit the button, and it should automatically pick it up. Uh, so, uh, if you like this video, please leave a comment. I know it's a lengthy video. We're going on about 20 minutes. But uh, <clears throat> leave a comment, uh, maybe suggestions. Um, however, I said, like, this is the first video, so be patient. Hopefully more videos to come on bias effects and uh, just music stuff in general. So uh, thank you for watching, and uh, hopefully we'll get some more videos uploaded uh, for you guys to watch.